say what you will. I don't mess around. There, that's a little bit better. I have been fishing in the rain for the past two hours, and I, you can't tell, but I am soaked to the bone. Uh, and I just, after the rain stopped, just caught my first fish. Okay, number two is a nice rainbow. See you, buddy. Hey, get out of my net. Hey, I gotta catch more fish. So this has been going for about half an hour now. Uh, I guess I'm going fishing in the rain. So I'm here in October Gulch, um, which is where the most challenging fish are that I know of. And uh, I've been really into tying very simple flies lately, um, just to see like how little I can get away with and still catch a fish. But then when I'm on the water, I always convince myself that now is not the time to try those simple flies. And uh, I go with something more complicated. So today, I brought only the simple flies. So I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that I'm fishing with one fly pattern. I've just added a bead uh, to, the, to the one that's subsurface, and then the dry fly has no bead and stiff hackle as opposed to the, uh, to the soft hackle. Uh, but you know, same hook, same, same kind of thing. That's really the test of a true Tinkara fisherman, you know? Coming out here, searching for wild fish with the simplest flies you could possibly tie, leave those black marabou-tailed streamers to the rod and reel guys. Let's go. Okay, after like two hours without a single bite, uh, I switched flies to uh, a little bit of a brighter, uh, the same fly, just a little bit brighter hackle. I caught this guy. What a good looking fish. Thanks, number one. Damn, number three is a monster for these waters. Look at that fish. So the city and county have voted to remove monuments to Confederate heroes downtown and uh, there is currently, right now, a giant protest and counter protest going on uh, on the town square. And this is the sort of thing that in years past I would have been paid to go shoot and now I'm going to drive right by and go fishing. Good for them. Now let's get the hell out of here. It has been an exceptionally rainy few weeks. Not actually in terms of like the water table, but in terms of the times that I've had to go fish. I get soaked every time. Fortunately, I got a new fishing hat. Doesn't look very good. It doesn't it doesn't go with the square glasses. I need I need some round Radar O'Reilly glasses to wear this hat with, but uh, it does keep the rain off my head for a little while anyway. I've gotten a lot of new gear. I've got a new rod, I've got a new line, I've got a new hat, I've got new waders. Uh, the first, first part of this fishing season has very much been a gear-oriented uh, endeavor, which is not really how I like it. But today is going to kind of be um, the first day in which I'm coming out uh, to fish with a with a complete outfit. I've had like, oh, I got a new rod, I'll go fish that. And I've got new waders, I'll go fish with those. I've tried everything out one by one, but I think I'm done getting new gear for a while. This is the test. So this is one of the places we're gonna fish today. And this is not a place we'll be fishing today because that would be stupid. Yeah, no kidding. This is a place that I've been coming for years, and it uh, has appeared in several of my photos uh, that would have been exhibited had we not had a global pandemic. And uh, Brad came up here and found a really interesting place to fish a few years back, and we fished it, and we had one of our best days ever. Then we came back a couple of weeks ago, and we had our best day ever. First time uh, was back in 2018, and we had 65 fish among the two of us, and last time we had 75 fish among our fishing party, and I personally caught 39 of those fish. Mostly sunfish or bluegill. I never know how to tell the difference 
pumpkin seeds, whatever you want to call them, panfish. But there were some largemouth and some rainbow trout. Actually, there's a brown trout in there too. Um, so it's, I think, I think it's fertile ground for testing. Also, not gonna lie, my numbers are lagging behind those of 2018, which was the last year that I took records. So, time to catch some fish. <sighs> Waders are hot. So last time we started way up here uh, on a creek that comes from the spillway of a lake, an uh, artificial lake, uh, and we intended to fish all the way back to the falls. But we ran out of light, uh, had to bushwhack probably a mile, maybe two miles through the woods, which doesn't sound like much, but man, I was covered in bug bites, uh, even with the waders. So I said, you know, well, we said at that time, like if we ever try to do this again, we're gonna come back and get started first thing in the morning. Um, and it is 3.20 in the afternoon. To mention that there were some, some pretty sketchy stuff on this river with log jams and stuff like that, and it's definitely warm water, so snakes are maybe a little more of a concern. So I'm just gonna fish the easy stuff today. Yeah, sure, that looks easy. So my new rod is a Wakata from All Fishing By, which is kind of a weird, kind of a weird organization. I'm not sure what to think of it, but the rod is awesome. Uh, it did have some issues when it arrived. Well, I'll cover that in another video, uh, but it's high performance uh, and it is a 12 foot rod. It's a light action. It was hard to get used to at first. It's very, very light, uh, but now I really like it. So the other piece of gear that's new is a level line actually. Well, this is a spool of tippet that I've got it wrapped around. Uh, yeah, I've, on all my years of fishing Tinkara, I never tried level line and I was in my fly shop the other day uh, getting a little bit of retail therapy during the quarantine and picked some up. Took it out on one trip. I wanted to use it a little bit before I said anything about it. Uh, and at first I hated it, and then I switched back to the furl leader and I was like, oh no, the level line is far superior. So we're gonna see what we think today. That's a fish. Hey, number one. How you doing? On the mini bugger. Nice. See you later. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, number two on the Adams. See you later. Okay, number three. Gotcha, buddy. All right. Oh, number three. Take it easy. All right, we're going to change to this pool right up here, and I'm going to come back later to this. Well, look at you. Number four. Whoa, number four. Oh, well. Number four was a little wild rainbow. Well, that just uh, ups the ante a little bit. Oh, number five. Uh, I don't know what number five was. All right, I think the jig is up. Time to move. One more pair. I think six is a tiny bit. No, it's a sunfish. See you later, number six. Seven. Whoa. They're not giving me time to show them off. Eight. What a good looking fish. Tiny, but fierce. Number nine, you might be big enough to warrant the net. Come here. Oh yeah. All right, calm down, calm down. Whoa, now, calm down. It's okay, number nine, number nine, number nine. It's not that bad. I'm just gonna let you go. What, oh, oh well. Well, he was pretty. Here we go. Okay. All right, number 10, what a beautiful uh, ear spot you have. Look at that. Are you a long-eared sunfish? Oh man, you really ate that thing, didn't you? Let's get it out of there. Give me my fly back. Sorry about this. Uh-oh. All right, see you later. 11. 
Nope. Oh. Man, they don't want to hang out, do they? It's like they're trying to get away from me as soon as they can. It's really unfriendly. Nobody? No! Okay. All right, number 12, come here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, number 12. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous number 12. They're gonna put you on the cover of Vogue. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. See ya. Okay. Well, one reason the zebra midge isn't getting any bites is because it isn't on there. 13. All right. Whoa. Can you get off by yourself? No. Nope. See you later. Take it easy, buddy. Whoa, jeez. You still got the fly, or is it loose? It's loose. You're loose. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on. Come on, number 16. Jeez. It's not that bad. All right, see you later, number 16. Bye. Thirty-seven. How you doing? Whoa now. Whoa, number thirty-seven. You also bit that bugger really hard. Okay. So the hook is pointed that way. I think it'll be easier to get off. Let's see. There you go. Thank you, number thirty-seven. Okay, forty-three. Now it's time to head upstream and explore a little bit. Well, that looked a lot more impressive on the satellite image. I was hoping there'd be a big pool at the base, but there's not. Well, that's a nice lake. As, as lakes go, I guess. I don't really like lakes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I'd fall for that. You know, it's funny how, as fishermen, we can never be satisfied. I have caught 45 fish today and three species, but none of them were bigger than my hand, and now I feel like a failure. I think what I'm gonna do is actually go back to my car, have a change of venue, and uh, I know some water close to here that has some fairly big trout in it, so we'll work that till dark. Well, he's not much, but this little guy is number 50. I'll take it. Thank Can you guys hear those frogs? Crazy. 